everybody. Just checking in. I wanted to go over some plans that I've got over the next couple weeks here in order to prepare for the new tank coming in. Um, might seem kind of silly to some of you guys, but uh, today we're going to focus over here on the RO system. And basically the idea is this whole white cabinet is going to be going away and um, just I, I, I've been wanting to have uh, more space. Uh, not only just to store stuff that I normally have to keep out since the new tank is going to be taking up a separate area for the second tank and um, just for the sake of having the uh, safety uh, first of all of having the RO system in an area that's not going to flood inside my house that's probably the biggest uh, this little cramped area that I've had over here has been really good um, and I've enjoyed having it in here, but it's a, it's a bear to service it. And if I, if I was to bring the camera in closer, you'd see that basically um, the, the connections, they're, they're close to being really tight. So some of them, if you just push them in a little way, um, they'll go ahead and uh, spray a little bit. So, I mean, for the most part, it's fine. Um, I just had to change the seals out recently on all of the uh, canisters, which that was kind of a, an involved thing as it was, because nobody knew what canister sizes these were, because I inherited the uh, most of the RO system, but separate story again. But I've been looking for a solution where I could put the RO system outside, out of the sun, in a nice, organized spot uh, that is still close, and. Um, basically allow me to still run the lines inside, but also encourage me to service it more because I think probably some people who have these RO systems, they maybe, I know I'm really bad about changing out my carbon block, um, not to mention other, you know, other things. Maybe I end up doing it once every three to six months. Um, and your car, um, or your sediment filter, I'm sorry, your sediment filter. You should probably change out your sediment filter uh, maybe once a month, especially if you're doing uh, a lot of water making. And we use our RO system for more than just a tank anyway. So uh, basically this entire, so it's a, it's a seven stage, one, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, a seven stage RO DI system. I'm gonna be moving that all outside and I wanted to show you guys uh, what I found and what the plan is. Um, I'll, sh I'll be doing another video as to once we have everything installed, but we already have half uh, the, uh, the assembly done uh, for, the, for the storage system. So um, let's go outside. All right, everybody. So we got the doggies out here helping us today. Let's see if one's going to come over here and help out. All right. So we got Bentley. He's going to show us what's going on with the. Uh, Actually, and we got Maggie, and we got Maggie here. So basically, what we've got is a—it's called a suncast uh, housing, and, and basically, this is a uh, this is a level that I'm not even going to be using. It normally would go right in here, but what we did was uh, we went ahead and mounted it with some tap cons uh, right to the wall, uh, the exterior of the house, and this measures about nine inches deep. Uh, from here in and the RO system uh, the depth of the actual um, uh, canisters is about six inches uh, with also the the, um, the hanger on the top or the housing on the top so basically the metal piece that connects them so notionally speaking what we're going to be doing is we're going to put in either a piece of wood or some metal and throw maybe six screws into it and that way we've actually got a uh, mounting bracket that we can hang the three stage uh, with the um, uh, with the sediment filter on top and that way you can just screw it off uh, the The membranes, they'll still be on top and they'll, they'll be pushed forward a little bit. That way they can still be up and out of the way up here. Uh, that won't leave me enough space to most likely mount 
the other, uh, the DI chambers, but that's okay. They can stay down here and that way I can just pull them out at any time. They don't really need to be mounted. And then what we're gonna do is right down in here, um, probably about here, we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw in, you know, just a couple uh, uh, holes, small holes or uh, maybe uh, one one inch hole in the, in the side of this. And that way uh, we can go ahead and uh, have the lines coming straight in. It's gonna be kept out of the sun, kept out of the elements. And uh, it took me a while to actually figure out something that was gonna work for this. And I was like, well, I know there's a lot of items that you can use for your garage to, to hang things up and, and do some organization. So um, this costs about 100, 120 bucks on Amazon. I'll link to it below, like I said, but it's a Suncast, um, you know, uh, mounting, well, uh, just shelf system. So I'm not even gonna use this shelf. I'm not gonna even use this bar, which is a support bar from the inside. And uh, what you can't see right here, there's a hole that I originally drilled in to the house just so I could run my RO um, in and out line um, directly, uh, you know, inside and outside the house with a spigot that's behind me. Um, I'm gonna modify it. it. I did a really crummy uh, hole for it originally. I just didn't have the right equipment to do it. Um, so what we're also gonna do is we're gonna um, get a nice uh, Milwaukee um, uh, concrete drill. Uh, with a one inch drill bit, we're gonna go ahead and put in a, uh, a conduit pipe right on the inside, seal it, and um, that way we can have a pass through and uh, might not get all done the next day, uh, but we'll only now have one line going inside because the, uh, the in and outbound is gonna be in here. The outbound is gonna vent to right out here uh, with all the wastewater. Might actually put it into my French drain, uh, that's for the AC system that, that goes underground over here. And uh, the reason why I'm going with the one inch uh, still to the house is because I want to run a fresh air intake for the, uh, for the protein skimmer. And basically, since there's still going to be some fresh air coming in here, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and run the fresh air intake into here. Um, since there'll still be some fresh air coming in, it'll be, again, kept out of the elements, likely have some actual uh, bugs getting into that line and clogging it up is probably going to be minimal. Um, and that's that's basically the, you know the idea so I hope this helps some of you guys out I think this could totally work for some of you um, that where it doesn't freeze in your uh, you know in your state or wherever you live uh, I'm down here in Florida don't have to worry about that uh, especially South Florida so this is a perfect solution for me and uh, feel free to comment and post down below if you have any uh, questions about it I hope this helps some of you guys out and uh, again I'll be posting a video with the finished product uh, once we have it done. So thanks for tuning in guys. Talk to you soon.